Hey there. So, if you have ever been on the GPU mining subreddit, you have probably been harassed by one very particular bot. And I mean the... To a little reminder, it is never recommended to power GPU or risers with SATA connectors. Additional info. Today I actually want to take a look at this additional info to see what it's all about. And the most important thing here is that SATA or SATA is only able to safely carry 54 watts. So as you can see your GPU might draw 75 watts from 6 pins or 150 watts from 8 pins but if it needs more than 54 watts from your riser you might run into a problem and <laughs> this problem could be a fire hazard. So the bot links evidence too and as well as graphs and a list of recommended risers. So I will link all of that below and when you get to know the rig in question you will see that I myself am using version 8 risers. The point of this video is that I want to start this channel by being honest with you. I was guilty myself. I have not used the cheap um, SATA adapters which normally come with risers, but I have used the SATA cables from a Corsair ATX PSU uh, which has been powering two ASICs of mine. This is still wrong and this is still a hazard so it should be updated. Back to the time lapse. I'm doing two updates on this rig here. First is getting rid of everything SATA and secondly is changing a 1050 Ti which will be hashing away somewhere else with a 1060 6 gigabyte, which stays extremely cool thanks MSI. So this is a mixed mining rig freak and <laughs> if you're a fan you'll probably have joy with his name. Boom! I turned myself into a pickle! But if you have any questions about it, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. This is an open airframe, so I'm also taking the chance to clean the rig and the carts of dust with compressed air. I have a small compressor for that, but some people like to use canned air. So I'm planning for long-term solutions there at the moment. Um, here you can see that I'm already in the process of cable management. I definitely recommend you to power your risers before you install your graphic cards. But I was a bit paranoid about my GPU order, BIOS mods, etc. So I did it the hard way. That's about it. There's no more SATA in this rig. Everything is cleaned from dust. The cards are updated. I have better cable management than before. I would recommend to you always be open to admit your own mistake. Because that's the best chance to learn something new. I'm starting this channel as a little documentation of my mining farm. And because I believe in cryptocurrency and in what I'm doing. In the end, you can just see some starting problems, as always, but after some configuration, the rig was up and running again. If you liked this first video of mine, please be sure to subscribe to this channel to accompany me on my mining journey. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.